we have found a replacement and it's a very familiar face to anyone that has watched any bit of television, reality television for the last 20 plus years. Of course, I'm talking about Ryan Seacrest, of course, the, the current host of American Idol. And of course, um, you know, of course, he holds also hosts American Top 40. He pretty much has done just about everything that you can imagine uh, in his career. But, uh, you know, this is uh, this is a different how this kind of happened is very different to how, you know, the the finding the host of Jeopardy. This was uh, this was a pretty good. It only took two weeks to find his replacement. Obviously, Vanna White will still stay on as well. Uh, mm -hmm. So that will be uh, that'll be interesting to see once season 42 begins as uh, of course, we celebrate Pat's last season uh, with season 41. But your thoughts on uh, Seacrest getting the job? Well, he's certainly an old reliable choice here. And I, I say old reliable. I think it's easy to forget. He's only 48, uh, you know, with how long he's been in television, with how long he's been doing American Idol. Uh, Sony, I think, picked somebody who, and I don't think I'm exaggerating here when I say this, you know, Seacrest might have 30 years in him hosting this show if all goes according to plan. Um, I certainly wouldn't say that that's an expectation out of him right out of the gate. But I think if he if he's committed to it long enough, if he does it well enough, and if he's popular enough, and I think all those are certainly uh, reasonable expectations and possibilities, um, I think that he certainly has a shot to to have that uh, show in hand for him as long as, uh, maybe not quite as long as Pat Sajak in 41 years, but certainly for a long time to come. Um, you know, I know I know some people threw Tom Bergeron's name out there. Of course, Bergeron has plenty of hosting experience with Dancing with the Stars and hosted Hollywood Squares for a brief revival there. Um, but I, I think he mentioned in an Instagram comment, actually, that he it was a little bit past his time to take on a role like that. And I think Sony wanted somebody who they knew could stay on for uh, as long as they need here because, uh, you know, Bergeron, I believe, is 68. So, um, again, I don't think that he would just be a one to three year uh, kind of deal. But I, I can't imagine he had, he'd have much more than 10 or 15 years in him hosting the show. So, uh, you know, I think with, with Ryan Seacrest, you get somebody who's obviously a, a fantastic television host who I think is is going to fit right in the Wheel of Fortune and uh, hopefully keep the, the show running for uh, many, many more years to come. Yeah. And just the way, I mean, it only took it's just a short amount of time and they've already found the next host. And obviously that wasn't the case, um, you know, when, you know, obviously different circumstances with with obviously with Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. And now they're obviously, you know, two different entities, even though they're, you know, part of the same company, obviously, when obviously when Harry Friedman was executive producer for both shows. Um, and obviously that kind of split when he retired. But overall, just kind of talk about the kind of the comparisons between those two shows. And, you know, I think um, uh, well done by Sony. Yeah, well, they call them the Sony soulmates, I think, you know, they, they're paired in the same time slot in uh, most markets across the country. Uh, but you're right. The two hosting searches really couldn't be uh, that much different with how they turned out. It only took a couple of weeks. And I think it even took a little bit less than that. Uh, there were certainly uh, Seacrest rumors that Seacrest was taking the wheel, so to speak, uh, even a couple of days before he was announced. So they, they, I think, had this in plan very quickly. I think they certainly learned their lesson. Um, again, you know, I, I hate to sound morbid. I know it sounds awful, but it's a miracle Alex Trebek lasted as long as he did. Because stage four pancreatic cancer at his age is, is certainly no joke. And he had a good uh, year and a half left in him to continue hosting the show. But I mean, the, the minute he announced that he was ill, um, you know, somebody at Sony would have had to think, OK, we have to have a contingency plan in place uh, to, to have a, a host come in uh, sooner rather than later and certainly a little bit sooner than we were hoping uh, or expecting. And obviously, I don't think they had that. Um, maybe Mike Richards had this grand scheme in the back of his mind to try to uh, assume his way to the hosting position, which he did for five episodes. And then, of course, we all know what happened after that. Um, but I think they, they certainly wanted to avoid a similar situation like that happening this time. And as I mentioned, uh, you're not going to get a more reliable host in, in many respects than you're getting here with Ryan Seacrest and somebody that has a little bit of game show experience himself. You might remember the million second quiz, that 10 or 12 night event, whatever it was uh, in September of 2013, coming up on the 10 year anniversary of that. Obviously, years and years of hosting uh, American Idol as well. And uh you know, when you think about it, this, this man's now replaced Regis Philbin over at Live. Uh, he's replaced Dick Clark on uh, New Year's Eve, rocking New Year's Eve, and now he's replacing Pat Sajak. Uh, so he he's really taken the roles from uh, some television icons and legends here uh, already in his young career. So uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see how he does, but I have no doubt that he'll fit right in at the Wheel of Fortune family. 